Greetings everyone, this is Kagan. Welcome to Wuthering Waves Main Questline Part 2. Now we gotta go ask Mortify about the tokens. Let's see if you can get a 5 star. It would really make the playing a lot easier. Okay, here we go. We got the 5 star. Is it Encore? Hey, Willies. It, it is so Encore. Look, see? Oh my god, that's that's amazing. Ranger Donjing. Worry not. My crimson oh, I got another character, as Dungeon. Long as you haven't done anything bad. Our crimson blade looks in. Our crimson blade looks amazing. And I got a weapon. I don't think anyone in my party can equip this. Okay, Lunar Cutter. I guess Dungeon can equip it. Another Time character, for another Horse star, I guess. I see. What's on your mind today? That bounce one. Very noticeable. I don't know which character is good. Very nice. Definitely a healer. I I shouldn't say definitely. I gotta check her first. Rectifier. Okay, here are the skills. To recover concert. Uh, uh, okay. To recover concert energy and restore HP for all party members nearby. Looks like my bet was totally on point. I'm going for Verina. I think Kalakaro is one of the best character here, but I'm going for Verina anyways because I'm going to get a main DPS from the limited banner. Okay, so this is the this running style is very similar to the mm. What was that? Our running style is very similar to the Genshin Impact's TV characters. Here's your sundial, intact as it was. Mr. Mortify, can we have the test results? Simply put, it's hollow. Here, try tapping on it. It sounds different from a solid object. It's not just a timekeeping tool. It's an intricate mortise and tenon puzzle box. This sundial is hollow with an inner compartment. We scan it and there is a small paper scroll inside. However, it's missing a crucial component. We should be able to spin the wheels on the sundial once the right component is installed. You're quite the expert, of course. Impressive analyze. Oh, I think this one is better. I have some basic knowledge, but there is someone else who is more knowledgeable in automata mechanics than I am. It wouldn't have taken me this long if we were dealing with tacitite weapons. Install the missing part, then rotate the wheels to their correct positions, and you should be able to solve the puzzle and access the paper scroll. However, I still have no idea what the missing component should look like. Maybe we can brute force it, I don't think so. Well, that's a no-brainer indeed. We could certainly give it a try. If you're fine with the paper scroll being destroyed by its protective mechanism, that is. Oh, no way. Uh, one I moment. knew it. I have an incoming call. Mm. What is it? You certainly are well informed. It's indeed beautiful data. Good taste. Well, since you've put it that way. Prover, Mr. Mortify's expression seems to have softened, don't you think? An amiable person, isn't he? We haven't even asked him to help us with assembling. 
what's happening to our nose? The light, okay, the light. Never mind. I guess the academy people are just passionate about solving problems. It looks like Mr. Mortify needs more time. Maybe we should give him some space to concentrate. Of course. Rover, let's come back later, shall we? What? We didn't even wait one minute. Yes, of course. I've already noticed all that you mentioned. Indeed. You just pointed out a blind spot in my thinking. Your workshop? That hellish place? <laughs> Stop sweet-talking me. I get it. <laughs> Sorry for keeping you waiting. Let's get back to the sundial. We actually didn't have to wait. It's a mortise and tenon-based puzzle box. The missing component in the middle needs to fulfill two entirely different structural requirements at the same time. Considering its entire structure, this component needs an automatic buckle that goes down on top of an embedded pointer. I'll draw up a design for you. The parts you'll need can be found in Jiang Li's workshop. I've already informed him about it. You'll only need to go fetch the parts in his place. He keeps a box full of them. Who is Xiang Ling? I mean, Xiang Li. Mr. Mortify? Is that the person you were talking to earlier? Mr. Xiang Li Yao, I think? Yes. It doesn't take me much effort to figure out this little sundial here. But I do admit talking with Zhang Li made it easier. He's the expert in automata mechanics I mentioned earlier. The only principal investigator we currently have. Doesn't sound like a place in play. Considering its dreadful conditions, I can't agree more. How could he choose to work in such terrible condition? It's like willingly playing a score backwards. I see. Shall we go and retrieve the parts now, Rover? Yeah, we will survive. Also, I wanna test and go. Oh, this place I is neat. I prepared myself for the worst, but this place looks much better than this, though it is a bit hard to figure out where we should start. I can see the exact place where we need to start. Right here. This should be it. It's quite a box full. Let's go back and show it to Mr. Mortify. Oh, these are not horns. I thought these were horns. So Encore is probably a human. Probably. Mr. Mortify? We found the parts. Good. Bring it to me. The test results are in. I'm all ears. The mangosteen is just an ordinary fruit. It's suitable for regular consumption. We found nothing unusual about it. From the purple leaf you presented, I detected subtle fluctuations in tacit discord's frequency from two distinct sources, but they were overlapping and difficult to distinguish. This is a rare occurrence. The scattered nature of these fluctuations rules out the possibility of them being left behind through contact. This is not an ordinary leaf, but it doesn't seem to be a tacit discord either. Based on the data we gathered, I believe it was sampled from an area struck with the wave-worn phenomena. Yes, the anomalies that occurred after the lament including the formation of tacit fields, etheric sea, retroact rain, and gravity loss. These are collectively called the wave-worn phenomena, and the lament was the start of it all. Now we are getting some As for the notes sugar of pearl, what happened in the past. It has been determined to be a type of oral vaccine. This sugar pearl expired over 20 years ago. The low temperature storage life for this vaccine is about two years. The 20-year-old vaccine. 
Hmm. Could it be related to the children's epidemic in Zhenzhou two decades ago? The archives in the academy should have information on the sugar pearl. The archives here are organized in a unique way. You can start by searching the keywords at the lobby terminal. Mr. Mortify? The missing pointer has been installed, and now the sundial should be complete. So, the discs are rotatable now? Yes. Align the correct markers with the pointer we just installed, and then you should be able to open it. We have to solve the puzzle or it's gonna be an automatic solving. The four symbols present cardinal direction. The earthly branches and four symbols. These symbols are related to the sexagenary cycle. It's an intricate way of recording time in Huanglong. Nowadays, it is mainly reserved for calendars, numerology and indexing. But it's falling out of daily use. Now, what kind of information could it represent? It's the filing system. Most of Huang Long's libraries and databases still use this method to organize their archives, namely the grand libraries. The grand libraries? So it's like a time-based filling system. Exactly. Languages may evolve. Names may change, but time remains constant. It's an elegant system indeed. The Academy's public archives are organized in this manner too. Let's go find the archives about this sugar bowl. I want to test in course combat abilities, but let's go check. Oh, it's here. I found it. It's located on the way. Oh, oops. Mao Chang Su. Oops, again, skip. I'm not going to read all these. This is too big. I'm sorry. If I remember correctly, Zhenzhou was established during a year of Wei, several cycles ago. The Zhenzhou City Hall and Huashu Academy were built in the same year. The gorges of spirits battle sparked Zhenzhou's founding. And the formidable tacit discord described here? Hmm. I believe it is the crownless. Okay, again, this is very big. What? Xiang Li Yao, tender male, aged seven months. It's almost a newborn baby. I, I, is he really a risa? Okay, I don't know. Maybe a clone? Or maybe a human created in a lab? I'm not going to read everything. There are two photos here. One photo shows a group of researchers led by a woman in her 30s. Everyone looks excited and happy. It's probably singly young. The other photo shows an infant in diapers with a slender hand holding a spoon with sugar pork in it, directed towards the infant. It's probably singly Yao, I guess. It was singly Yao. I don't remember the name. The first attack reminded me of my first main Over. DPS. About the sugar Wanderer. Color. First main DPS in Genshin Impact. Wanderer. There is no Wanderer in other games, of course. Share your thoughts. What do you think, Rover? 
Back about all that tokens. Let's look back on what we've gathered so far. Our clues point to the sugar pearl as a key in solving the sundial's puzzle. Simply put, one token can lead to multiple targets, and one target may hold several pieces of information. We both had a reason for meeting. The magistrate had information to share, while I had questions to ask. However, her tokens contain both what she wants to tell me and what I want to ask her, making it seem like she is complicating matters. Or maybe she was running out of time. That's why she could only offer us scraps of the puzzle, instead of actually putting it together. Or perhaps she's indeed a master strategist, leaving breadcrumbs for us to follow. The initial clues may simply be a test to... To weed out the wrong recipients, to mislead ill-intentioned people. I guess it's to weed out the wrong recipients. She needed to ensure that those who may come across these tokens without understanding their true meaning would not be able to use them for access. Mm. If it were you, Yang Yang, what would you do to make sure the recipient gets what you mean? I would emphasize my true message by repeating it again and again. Leave the academy. Okay. Can I test Encore now? I'm back. I'm oh, back. Cecia is Finally back. Finally done with my patrol. Cecia, I guess. How's it going, Rover? Feeling spry yeah, as ever? You make it sound like I am old. Baiju said he is in great health. No issues to report. We made some progress in investigating the tokens too. Ah, nothing special. A typical patrol. Well, Uncle Chang's cat climbed a tree, and on its way down, it landed on Uncle Chumpy's head, causing him to take a tumble. Some dogs kept barking and have been scaring the passers-by, so I received a report about someone going missing. I just logged the case and talked to the person who reported it. You're not the one they're searching for, though. Anyhow, I need to visit the person who reported the case tomorrow. Oh, I also tried searching for Rover's terminal number, but the system came up with nothing. The latest record was from today when I took Rover for registration. That's pretty much the update for now. Looks like you had a fruitful day. That's a, quite a lot. You got me feeling hungry. That's quite a lot. You almost put me to sleep. You want me to come along tomorrow? Huh? Are you not going to investigate the tokens? Alright, I still owe you a meal. The night markets are closed though. Let's grab breakfast at Panhua's restaurant tomorrow before my shift. Meet you guys there in the morning. Be there or be square. What do we do now? Time to hit the hay, obviously. Don't tell me you're planning on some nightly activities. Oh, what time it is. Do you have a place to stay, Rover? I will be staying at the city hall. Panhua has prepared a room for me. Not yet, poor me. Nah, I can't lie. Hospitality. All right, enough chatter or the sun's gonna come up. Let's get Rover back to the city hall and we'll leave the rest till tomorrow. Okay. This game might or might not have a linear playstyle. I mean, like, get or become human, your choices make a difference. I guess it was called linear playing. Yang Yang? No, 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 she's not Yang Yang. Oh, you can change the time. Of course you can. This is morning, I guess.
Mrs. Panwa, good morning. Three bowls of extra spicy noodles, please. What did I tell ya? Nothing beats a bowl of spicy noodles in the morning. Well, I knew Cece I would like some spicy food. But what about Yang Yang? What do you say, Rover? Well, I love spicy food, so I'm gonna choose this. Looks like Baijer's locked herself in the lab again. Hasn't left since yesterday. Bet we won't see her till she's done with her research. No, wait. Since you're the subject of that research, we could use you as bait to lure her out. We can tie you up at the Academy's entrance, and with just a few tucks of the rope, I bet every researcher will come running at you with Baijer leading the pack. Hook, line, and sinker. We could give it a try. I don't think it will work, though. In case of an emergency, Rover, roll out. By the way, now that we figured out the sugar pearl and the sundial, all that's left is that weird leaf and run-of-the-mill mangosteen, right? So it only took us one trip to the Academy to solve half of our problems. Either Rover's really smart, or Madam Magistrate was going to make it easy for us to begin with. It's definitely the second one. What's our next plan of action, Rover? Let's eat the mangosteen first. As for the mangosteen, we got people selling these at the market nearby. We might find some clues there. Mangosteens are not from Jinjo. These fruits are usually brought in by boat. Should we start from the harbor? Let's leave the city. Do you think the token is guiding us outside the city? Maybe, I'm not sure. Tell them about that dream you had. My body itches for battle. That's the spirit. Been beating my brain up until now. It's time to get these joints cracking for a change. I don't know who I am. I don't know why I am here. All I know is I must kill. Whoa! He's fast. He's furious. He's a TD killing machine. Oh, please stop it, you two. It's a no-go for me if you're leaving the city. My shift's coming up. Protect Rover well, and shoot me a message if you need anything, all right, Yang Yang? Yang Yang, he's safe with me. I believe in you. Without a doubt. Events. So is there currently go an ongoing event? Oh. Yeah. It's the event tab. So you're gonna get her for free. She's she's Sanhua. How wrong I was. I forgot totally about Sanhua's appearance. Take take everything you there see. Has to be more, right? A true adventurer never leaves stuffs behind. Even trash. We resonators can boost our combat abilities with special items. Our echoes can use them too. If you feel like it, head to Instructor Yan at the training camp for extra practice and to get these enhancement items. Thank you for the tutorial, but I actually knew this already. Yang Yang, did you hear that? I is that someone crying and wailing? That should be the Midnight Ranger's training camp. Let's not worry about it, Shisya. Instructor Yan is in charge of training new recruits. I heard he's pretty tough. But I think Rover can handle anything he throws at him. Well, we got Encore. I don't think it will be a problem against a 5-star character. Simulation training, okay. But there are rewards Defense probably for simulation training. What happened? 
Oh, we're leaving the city and starting Huang Long. Access pass Act is required two. if you're heading to the Norfall Barrens. That place is now off limits. What was that called? I don't remember. Okay, I just searched it up and it's called Ahoge. <clears throat> it's a very common thing in anime. What is your business, young lady? It's my third shift and you're still here. You see, Jian, oh, a five star uh, character. You must be the soldier on duty at noon yesterday. Nice to see you again. I'm a resonator and a trained martial artist. I can handle myself. Please, I need to go look for someone. I've promised the missing man's grandfather to bring him back. Would you let me through? Be that as it may, I cannot let you, given the current circumstances. My apologies. Well, everything seems fine in the city. Are things really that bad on the front lines? That's why we must stay vigilant, so people in the city can go on peacefully with their lives. Besides, General Jian is currently there at the North Oh, it's Baron's not Jian. I'm sorry. Jian is, is that, is is that cool-looking man. A limited banner character. The one you're looking for. We have already sent a report on your case. You could just go home and wait for the good news. What's the point of staying here? Uh, thank you, but I have already asked the patrol station for help and tried every method I could think of. Please let me through. I promised him, so I gotta give it my all. I understand your concern. I don't want to be a bother. Would it help if I hid my presence and stayed somewhere further away? How about five miles? Or maybe a hundred? Well, a thousand might be too far, though. I wouldn't be able to see you clearly. Listen, nobody knows when the soldiers will return, and even if they do, you might not find the one you seek. It's a dangerous road ahead if you want to reach the front lines, and you don't even have an access pass. <clears throat> Your access pass has been verified. Just you two? The monk over there is coming with us. She's a five-star character. Thank she can definitely help for really herself. Appreciate it. She's not gonna be a dead wedge. I intend to leave the city with them, and they have agreed. Will it be an issue for you? I, uh... Please? Well, it says you have the highest level of access, so no procedural issues here. Honestly, he could lead an entire troop out of the city with that access pass, and no one would question it. Master Jianxin, okay. Jianxin was sure. the name. It's pronounced Jianxin, right? I'm really bad at pronunciation, so please forgive me for So you're looking for the relative of a veteran, and you believe he's in the Midnight Rangers camp in Deseret Highland? Mm-hmm, exactly. Got it. Uh, let's ask this first. I grew up in my sect on a mountain. Spent most of my time training with my masters. But one day, I was told training in seclusion was not enough. I must engage with the world to further my skills. So I started my self-cultivating journey. I've been to various cities and gained valuable lessons, but there is still so much more to learn. According to what I've gathered, Mr. Zhongye's grandson is very likely in the Desert Rock Highland. <sighs> Thanks to your help, I can finally leave the city to find him. Master Xianxin, please keep us safe. Of course. We also got Encore actually, so it's not gonna be a problem. Oh, we didn't... We didn't got her in the party as a trial character. Are these NPCs... Oh, they are not interactable. Let 
let's race! What is that thing? That reminded me of a machine from the Borderlands too. That's the guard. Okay, so Encore and Rectifier user is a ranger. So probably every Rectifier user is a ranger. It's like a catalyst. That was cool. Floramber. Floramber. Floramber, I guess. I guess they're used for crafting. Can I pet you? I saw a cat. Oh, I can. We couldn't do it in Genshin Impact, so I had to do it in this game. You don't look like soldiers. Why are you here? The frontliners are right up ahead. We are actually better than soldiers. I am Yang Yang, an outrider of the Midnight Rangers. A missing person. Ju Yan. The one you're looking for, is he an average person? Not Yes. Oops. Have you seen him? Is he alright? I met him once. He's not officially enlisted, but he seemed determined to join us. He's been secretly following our troops since last year. I think a quartermaster of the rear guards escorted him away, so if he's not in the city, he must be in the rear guards camp. He can't be anywhere else. The actual front lines are right up ahead, and we, the Midnight Rangers, would never allow non-servicemen to approach and risk getting killed. Masters the Unseen. Thank you. Now, if you're heading that way, I have a request for you, my outrider comrade. On your way there, you should run into two detection beacons. They just went offline. Could you go check on them? Sure, we will. Great. I'll send the coordinates to your terminal. I, I really love this environment. There is a battle ongoing in the front line. It's dangerous. It's much better than a normal peaceful environment. In a game, in a game. It's a much better environment in an action game like this. Use sensor to confirm the patrol room. How can I use the sensor? Where is the sensor? I can't find it. D? Yes, it's D. Here we go. How could I have not tried that T button? It took me five minutes to figure this simple thing out. What is that? Is that the beacon? Hmm. 
Why are there so many people? Hmm. They don't look like soldiers. Greetings. What might interest you here? It's dangerous. I'm oh, sure they're not uh, civilians. Nothing really. You see, we're just on our way south to the city. Excuse me, about this detection beacon. Run, everyone! Don't let them run off. They're suspicious, I told you. I... I can't move. So hungry. Oh, but, but please don't arrest us. We really had no choice. Okay. So what happened? They're saying they have a reason. Do you need help? The battles are getting real bad up north, and we couldn't live there anymore. Figured we have to go back to the city. We ain't eaten in ages, and we're broke. Some of us can barely move, because we're so damn hungry. Okay, the situation is really bad. Then we found some expensive looking stuff here. Now that the military's out there fighting and nobody's really using these things, we thought it might get us a few pennies. A damage detection beacon might result in a sudden TD invasion from the direction it covers. Our frontline troops would face attacks from both sides. Have you thought about the consequences? <sighs> God, we ain't got the time for that. If we don't steal, we'd starve to death before the tacit discords kill us. You shouldn't be stealing public property. Please, return the parts. I think we can afford food. There's still some distance from here to Jinjo City. Here, you can have my flatbreads. Oh, and here's some money. This should be enough for you to reach the city. Oh, she's giving everything. I thought. You would get a chance to give them some things from You're our side. Us all of these? Thank you. Thank you. Hey, you! Come over and say thank you before you eat. It was nothing. Master once told me the sage takes care of all men and abandons none. Oh. No way. They're actually sus. Okay, Tough so I get to play Jian Sin. I just helped you. Why did you attack us? You're not feeding us all with your bread and pennies. I, <laughs> all of them miss. We'll face the consequences. Mess with no kids, but don't test our patience. Just do as you're told. Don't make it tough on yourselves, or you'll be lucky to leave in one piece. I will not bend to injustice. The range is so little, the Please jump attack, but back, it looks so them. cool. And you can use you this multiple this. times, almost like Xiao. We're begging you, stop! We surrender! Take us in! Yeah, you're going in. Why did you attack us when I already gave you food? Do you have other mouths to feed, aside from what we see here? Hmm, they seem trained. These are not ordinary people. Uh, of course we're ordinary people. We, we, just, we just joined the exiles recently. We've done some wrongs. We tried to run from the patrollers and left the city, but <laughs> dang, didn't know the battles up north were so crazy. Our new boss ran out of food before we could even figure out the camp. Figured we'd be better off just to go back to the city and get locked up. Then we ran out of food and cash halfway, so we turned to thieving. We ain't got the balls to rob the army, but with stuff just sitting around, why not? Hey, since you're being so generous, how about you throw a little extra cash our way? There's a bunch of us, some injured too. Your first amount ain't gonna cut it for us to survive. I'm not really sure because you guys just attacked, and if we were normal people, this would have been a heavy a serious crime actually we should actually 
take them in but it's okay let's try being kind once more because i don't think the unseen is gonna be agreed to this part no wait what i gave them was more than enough for oh them no to make it to Jinjo. <laughs> i used to travel alone when i left my master i know how much it takes for someone to survive hey what's wrong with you girly it won't hurt to give us more oh my god you guys are so rude and bad pain comes with I... he who knows he has enough is rich it was only meant to sustain you long enough for you to reach the city you don't understand girl you don't make money very easily in a time like this if we can't find jobs in the city we're gonna starve again well can't argue with that part but still you guys can do this i came from a seclusive place learning the ways of the world from scratch it's been a hard time, but even I have managed to make a living with my own hands. If you really can't find any job in the city, come to Liu Xian Tea House and ask for Jian Xin. I will gladly help you search for jobs and work alongside you. <laughs> fine, fine. We'll go. Hurry, move, let's get out of here. I'm not listening to this lecture anymore. Hopefully you guys don't commit crimes on the way no, to I the wasn't city. Trying to Wait. Please put that down. Ugh, quite the sharp eye you got. Fine, here you go. Mm. Is this the only detection beacon you messed with? Heck yeah. The first one we were trying to steal and you bumped right into it. Really? Then why does that one over there seem broken too? Th that ain't got nothing to do with us. It's been that way for ages. Plus, we ain't ever reaching it with all those thorns. I see. You may leave now. The military's base is not far from here. Shall we fix the beacons before going? Definitely. I like the Angelica flower first. What do I have to do? Dodius. These were some really huge mushroom. Bloom slog. Bloom slog. That looks like a bug. Material for cooking. Well, there are. I guess there are some edible bugs, maybe. More mushrooms. Is that a cow? Oh my god, the cow is running away. They're huge. Police, let's race. They also have horns. For some reason, I don't think that's realistic. A person of that size, a cow is not going to run away. Okay. Let's check over there. The thorns are blocking our path. Use a levitator to burn off that throng. We'll have to clear them before we can reach the beacon. Oh, please be careful. They look sharp. Maybe we can find something nearby to help us deal with them. This is the levitator. What does that do? Oops. Oh, so this is what it does. I just lost some ASP because I forgot to take a distance.
This one was easy. The first one was also easy, but it took me some time to figure out things. Knocked him in. It was really knocked him in, right? Or it's Nasty knocked him in. I don't think so. Are you all right? This is my first time on a battlefield. It feels so different here. I know another shipment of supplies has just arrived. I've confirmed it, but it's not nearly enough. We must reach out to the city again and demand more supplies immediately. But the approval process is going to... Tell them it's an emergency. We are working around the clock here. Any delay could mean the end of our defense. Do they not comprehend? Here's a list of what we need. I'll talk to them if you can't make them listen. Now go, go, go. Move, move. What is it? Why are we still not done distributing these? You new here? Are you backups too? Wait, you don't look like one of us. I am Yang Yang, an outrider of the Midnight Rangers. And they are... She's really busy, you know? And the situation in the front line is really dire right now. Yang Yang showed her Midnight Rangers badge. Excuse me, one moment please. Careful! This chest holds vital medical supplies. If the wounded return and find no medicine, it's on you. Handle with care and precision. An outrider. So, you were part of the backup force, right? Now, I've got wounded soldiers coming soon, and you're just in time to help. Oh, sorry. Have to answer this. Yes, what is it? An overclocked resonator. Understood. I'll be there immediately. I'm sorry. Um, could you do me a favor? The, the wounded soldiers are being sent back from the front lines. We need someone to escort them to the medics, but I've got to deal with the overclocked resonator now. Could you please take care of them? I think we what can. What exactly do you need us to do? Just make sure they are safe. The medics will take care of their wounds. Leave it to us. Thank you. It's so busy here. It looks like they don't even have the time to catch their breath. Things are always like this in the rear. The frontline soldiers focus solely on battle, following orders and striking enemies. But in the rear, personnel must juggle numerous tasks. Supplies, medical care, equipment maintenance, personnel management, and logistics. They must carefully manage these matters to provide vital support for our fighters. So this is what a real war looks like. <sighs> I had no idea it could get this bad. Sometimes it's actually even odd. Most people would never have the chance to witness any of this. It's natural for you not to know. I think this is exactly what our military strives for. To ensure peace and safety for our citizens. It's a sacrifice made so others don't have to live in fear. Let's go check on the armored soldiers. Oh, it's this way. Are you all right? Uh, I'm okay. I'm just, just a little out of breath. You're definitely not all right. Uh, it's okay. I'm, I'm fine. I'll go find a medic. The other person is lying down right now. Like I said, it's not a big deal. No need to fix me up. Let me go. Please calm down. Your wound is still bleeding. That's barely a scratch. You can't stop me. That's not bravado. My wounds can close on their own. It's my resonance ability. The medics should go take care of other people in need. You know, you shouldn't be cocky in battlefield. Stop squirming, will you? We're here because you need our help. 
Calm down and stay where you are. Please hold him still for me. Sure. Got it. After some chaos, you helped medics in treating the wounded. Thank you for your assistance. You must be tired. Please take some rest. They look badly injured. Don't worry. They've received proper treatment now. They'll recover in time. Thanks to General Jian, we've seen a significant drop in the number of casualties. I've heard from veterans that soldiers used to be ordinary people, not resonators. The battles were brutal even back then, with the stench of blood lingering through the rain. But things have improved. Each injury represents countless tacit discords eliminated by our brave soldiers. Resonators in the Midnight Rangers are incredible warriors. Those who have to retreat from injury must have already taken out hundreds of enemies. They are our heroes. They are the ones keeping our people safe. What I've been doing is not worth mentioning compared to them. Please don't put it like that. Without your help, we couldn't have helped so many wounded soldiers in such a short time. Now that they're all safe, you should go and take care of your own issues. Thank you. May I ask where the Quartermaster is? The Quartermaster isn't here. He's on the floor above, directing munitions distribution. Just take that lift and you should find him there. Rover, where are we going next? I want to talk to the Quartermaster too. Here are some recipes for dietary supplements from my sect. They might help the wounded recover sooner. Oh, great. You have my thanks. Level 5. We are getting some rewards. The other reward is in 15 level, so we are not going to give another 10 pulls because high pulls is not enough. Woolies, let's race! Have you confirmed the inventory? What about a spare list? Sort out the consumables as soon as possible and check our communication lines while you're at it. Ewa, deliver this list to Asha. Uh, you're not Ewa. Where is she? What do you need? Excuse me. I'm an outrider of the Midnight Rangers. This is Rover, and this is Master Tianxing who came here to look for someone. Master Jianxi, Jianxin actually, you want to go look for Diyuan first? Diyuan, sure. Diyuan actually. I'll join you later. We'll be meeting up with you. Check out the mango stream. What? What are you doing? Hold your hands up. Oh. <laughs> Please excuse me. I thought that was a grenade. <laughs> Is this a mangosteen? I know what a grenade is. I'm not going to ask that question. Oh, we didn't ask anything. I just skipped it. That was a mistake. Sorry. <laughs> Master Tianxing, have you found the person you're looking for? Yes, I found Zhuyan. We will return to the city with the logistics team. We will go find Mr. Zhang Ye to let him know he is safe. 
I heard Zirian didn't want to leave. Zirian is a man full of courage. Influenced by his veteran grandpa's tales, he longs to join the military and aid in humanity's battle against tacit discords. The journey with you has exposed me to immense suffering, but the battles on the front line must be even more brutal than what I've witnessed. Countless lives have been lost in this war. Master Rongfu once told me, the best sages gain enlightenment in the military. The mediocre sages gain enlightenment in the bustling cities, and the worst sages gain enlightenment in seclusion. Mm. I do share some of Juyan's feelings. However, Juyan disagreed with the intense training and tests required to join the military. He saw no distinction between ordinary people and resonators, and believed he could contribute on the battlefield, however small that contribution might be. Everyone has a part to play. I too found what Zhiyan said was reasonable to an extent, and I couldn't change his mind with words. So I tried to imagine what my masters would do. They'd set up a spar in this case, and if I won, they'd let me do what I wanted. But you beat him up? I didn't mean to beat him up for nothing. My masters taught me valuable lessons through sparring, and I gained important insights from those fights. Now, who do you think won that fight? Okay, the first choice is actually very smart. You pretended to lose, but I don't think she would do that. All tangles untied, all glare tempered, all dust smoothed. It is like a deep pool that never dries. How true! I've come to understand this line more. I promise not to use my forte in the battle, but... Juyan still couldn't take a single blow from me. After his defeat, Juyan seemed to realize his weakness. Talking about confronting the tacit discords on the battlefield would be mere lip service, he said. He was just trying to convince himself that he could make a difference, not wanting to acknowledge his own limitations. I heard you two still have other matters to attend to. When you have the time, let's catch up at Liu Shan Tea House. It's my great pleasure to have met you. See you. We shall meet again. Us running into Master Tian Xing was a one-off incident. If the Mangostine indicates something about war, what is Madam Magistrate trying to convey? She's just giving me a chance to do a certain thing. Perhaps the moment hasn't arrived yet. Perhaps she wants me to meet someone. That civilizations are born from war and suffer from war. It's actually... It's actually true. Be true. Like, I can't disagree or agree to that part. Maybe the Magistrate is trying to convey that. Have you thought of something, Rover? I think. Mention the tacit discord outbreak. Mention the Mangosteen's route of transportation. Mention the general you saw. So I think Madam the outbreak. So Magistrate wants to tell us about the TD outbreak? If those tacit discords break through our defenses, it would be a disaster for not just Huang Long, but for all of humanity. We haven't reached the front lines yet, but I can already smell the iron in the air. I sense tension and unease. Our soldiers stationed at the borders. I hope they're okay. Oh no. What is that dim? Oh, these are tacit discords.
and a lot of them. General Zian. General. Yeah, it's Zian, a five star limited character. Uh, best main DBS of Wuthering Waves currently. And he's also a tall Xiao. Oh my god, that dragon is cool. Follow the Qing Long. Oh, they're letting us play with Dian. dodging I shouldn't deplete my whole stamina or I can dodge what it's not taking any damage okay it's taking damage now Got hit? Oh, M. Oops. Oh, wrong click. Again, I couldn't dodge. I'm having some real problem with dodging system. With such a powerful character, any boss is easy. Also, I need to improve my dodging. What's the matter? Are you all right? I I had a vision. Oh, I was worried. You just stood there and gazed into the distance. You were unresponsive when I tried talking to you. What did you see? Dian fighting a three-headed vulture. It felt as if I was seeing through the eyes of a tacit discord. I think I saw what was happening in the Norfall Barrens. Describe the general in deal first. An imposing warrior wielding the power of a Qinglong. The Qinglong is the Midnight Ranger's emblem. It's also the symbol of General Dian. The leader of all Midnight Rangers. The front lines are not far from here. General Tian must be there, fighting alongside our soldiers to keep the tacit discords away. But I have never met him. Hmm. It doesn't seem like a coincidence. We arrived near the battlefield right when General Tian was leading an attack against the tacit discords. Your vision. It might be what was happening on the battlefield not far away. Something's not right. The battle itself is a clear sign of an anomaly. The streams from the Norfolk Barrens feel more suffocating than ever. Rover, something on that battlefield must be connected to you. 
though we have no idea what it is. There's something inside me. There's always been a voice. But I didn't hear anything or sense any frequencies. Maybe I can. Rover? According to Baja, the leaves showed residual fluctuations of tacit discords. Those fluctuations pointed to a certain set of coordinates. And that is... Teacher Village and the Central Plains. Wang Long, one. Act two, quest completed. As I make myself reflect on my goals and plans, those voices in the streams become clearer, and everything starts to make more sense. Rover, perhaps you can give it a try. So guys, I'm ending the video here. Tomorrow, we will be continuing Guanglong 1 Act 3. Thank you everyone for watching.